What do you think about the submissions that you've gotten, your reaction to those? I, I haven't had a chance yet to see them. So uh, the team right now, and we have a full staff team that works basically 12 hours a day locked up on an entire floor in one of the PNC towers. Uh, they, they're compiling a list that will be all 20 and sort of doing an apples to apples proposal of each. At the same time, going through the RFP in order to find the specific asks of Amazon and then aligning them to be able to provide not just one option to Amazon, but a menu of what they may be looking at and which ones meet the criteria for it. And then um, basically having all of that done within the next uh, 20 some days. Are you surprised at the number that you got? I am. I am because uh, the the criteria was rather specific. Uh, a certain uh, mile away from uh, the central business district, a certain minute drive away from the airport, a certain minute drive from highway, access to bike lanes, to pedestrian, to being able to be in an urban atmosphere. And I think that a lot of people are looking and seeing that although they may not be able to offer all of it, their component can be a part of it. And if you look at what Seattle has done, in Seattle, Amazon has its central campus, but it also has development all throughout the city, scattered throughout, connected by transit options, trail options, and other ways for uh, workers to get from point A to point B without having to get in a car. I think that we can be competitive in providing something very similar and compete against cities like Austin and Boston, Toronto and Chicago. And against the deadline of the 19th, man, this is yeah. really putting you under the gun. Well, I mean, it is, but again, we, we have uh, given a lot of our staff uh, to this effort on a full-time basis, including my chief of staff, who I'm really missing right now, uh, who's been uh, working uh, seven days a week on this. Uh, the county exec and uh, his chief of staff, Jen Liptak, uh, she's also been uh, giving a lot of that time to lead a team that also includes consultants. Uh, Maya Design from downtown Pittsburgh, part of the Boston Consulting Group. Uh, the consultant out of Washington, D.C., who's doing site selection, uh, who's worked internationally, and a local marketing firm being able to help to pull all of it together in that deadline. Can you tell us about your decision not to go with the Bengals to the White House? Yeah, I mean, it, it was a tough decision. Anyone that knows me knows I love hockey. I mean, it's, uh, other than politics, probably one of my greatest passions, and I've been a Penguins fan since 1971. Played the game since 72, season ticket holder for over 40 years. I'm extremely proud of this team and all that they've accomplished. I just felt that with what has been going on this past week, that going down to Washington would put more attention on the debate than upon the team. Uh, there's uh, ways that uh, the city can celebrate uh, the champions that this team uh, represents uh, in doing so while being right here instead of in Washington. Um, I am going to reach out to the Penguins, though, to see if there may be a city employee that could go that would be a representative, somebody who has been a veteran, uh, who has served um, in, on foreign lands, and maybe give them that option and opportunity to be able to, to be a part of what usually is just left to America. No concern about repercussions from the president of UNOC? I don't think so. I, I don't think that the president uh, would be, miss me. Uh, and I certainly didn't play a big part in winning the cup. So uh, I think he'll be much more pleased to be there with Gino and Sid and Chris Letang and the rest of the, the team. Of that ilk in terms of uh, uh, political disagreements with the president, yeah. I mean, you, you released your climate uh, additional kind of initiatives today. Can you just talk about some of them? Do you seem ambitious and, and just kind of how you're going to strive to reach them? Which ones? I'm sorry. Climate action. Climate action. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you said the climate today, meaning the... What are, world of Twitter. All good. Yeah, no. Um, you know, we, this is our third go-round. So we have been working on a climate action plan since 2005, and this is the third iteration. The, the only difference is, is that we've met many of the goals of the first two climate action plans, and our benchmarks are all either exceeding or meeting where we need to be. So we've upped the game a little bit. We've increased what we expect to be by 2023. We've increased where we expect to be by 2030 and where we expect to be in 2035. Uh, I'm very confident that as the market starts dictating a lot more 
that the industries will be changing and making it a lot easier, not just for Pittsburgh, but cities around the world to be able to make those goals. Um, another top, are, are you familiar with the report uh, involving Commander Trapp and the yes. relationship? I'm just kind of curious what you've made of that, if you were I, calling for any additional investigations, anything like that. Um, I have met with the public safety director and the chief, neither of whom were in those positions going back to 2012 when the initial purchase and contracts were being uh, instituted. Uh, but I have also asked for the OMI investigations that were conducted, as well as looking at what the sources of funding were. Were there federal funds involved? Were there state funds involved? What level of investigation would be warranted in any of these types of situations? I think at a minimum, whenever an officer is being paid as a consultant from a private company, they should recuse themselves from any decision making. That should be a given. Uh, Commander Trapp is an expert in the field and is recognized nationally as such, but that should not also allow him to be earning funds while also making decisions that could end up where that contract ended up. That doesn't mean that he had a direct part in it, but it, at that point you should just uh, refuse yourself in the decision making process. So as we look at this individual case, what we want to be able to do is avoid it happening in the future. Ford's partnership with Lyft um, as well, just the fact that the two are gonna get together, Pittsburgh's becoming the automated car capital of the world. What do yeah, you think of that? I, well, I think that there's going to be even more. Uh, there won't be an automobile manufacturer in the next two years that doesn't have an autonomous project somewhere in the world. As we look at where artificial intelligence and robotics are being centered, in the United States, they're in cities like San Francisco, Austin, Texas, Boston, Mass, and Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh is actually on a global competition against cities like Jerusalem, uh, where automation and AI have been going off in many directions. Autonomous vehicles are just a small part of autonomous everything. And Pittsburgh has the opportunity to become a global leader and should be a global leader in an expanded industry. And I'm sorry, I have one more. 